This, you know, friendship between me and Maurice, I've gone back about 1979, you know, since was, you know, kid and amateur coming up, fight two amateurs together and two pro together. I couldn't even remember when we used to share the same bed as a pro and sleep his head down. I said, you, know, you, know, and, you know, we used to do everything together. At one time, these two fighters shared the same management and the same trainer. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, I want to share something with you guys that you never heard before. I want to tell you something that is very sad to me, you know what I mean? And disheartening. You know, we can be inspired by words. We can be encouraged by words. We can, you know, uh, be renewed. So many powerful and wonderful things that can happen over the course of time due to words, due to the things that we speak. You understand? But I want to talk about someone in particular, two people in particular. One being a former world champion in the sport of boxing, a former two-time world champion in the sport of boxing, Maurice the Thin Man Blocker. All right. He fought some of the well-known fighters in the history of boxing, you know, achieved success, you know, came from poverty, made it to something. You know, you guys know boxing, you guys know his career. And if you don't just look him up, Maurice Blocker. But what I wanted to talk about was Maurice you know, having the rise to fame and, and fall, his, 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 his moments of despair, you know, uh, a man who, you know, made a way for his family, risked his life fighting. And, uh, you know, he fought a, a well-known Puerto Rican fighter by the name of Felix Trinidad back in 1993. And, uh, he lost to Felix Trinidad by KO, um, face first he was he was knocked out uh he retired with a record of 36 and 4 i believe with 24 knockouts 25 knockouts but that fight with felix trinidad really damaged him you know uh and it was all it was it was felix trinidad that that finished it all for him but it was a fight prior to that a couple of fights prior to that one with his longtime best friend at the time simon brown if you guys look up that fight, you'll see Simon Brown and Maurice exchange a lot of good, uh, hard blows. Then after that fight, um, well, after that fight, he fought Terry Norris. Terry Norris stopped him also in the second round. And, um, and then it was, uh, Felix Trinidad. And so Maurice had begun to show signs of over the years you know, I would say, uh, brain damage, um, you know, beginning to show signs of memory loss, you know, uh, more so short-term memory loss. And, uh, you know, one day he was watching, a uh, spiritual broadcast by Creflo Dollar and Creflo Dollar said something during that, during that, uh, broadcast that, changed Maurice forever. He said something on a, on a, on a note of you in the bathroom. Yeah, you, you know, and what he told Maurice, Maurice held close to heart as if it was said from God. Creflo Dollar said some things that made Maurice believe that, you know, he didn't no longer need to acknowledge his wife as her, his wife. And of course, one who've been with this man for years would be offended, you know, and, but to his understanding, the man of God just gave him a message and that, uh, you know, but it's how you go about things, you know what I'm saying? And make a long story short, you know, um, I, I don't want to put too much out there. Uh, but the point of that is, you know, Maurice had some damage upstairs and, um, 
you know, he lost his home. A lot of stuff happened within his marriage. He ended up on the street. I found out my cousin, that's my cousin. I found out my cousin was on the street in 2022. Uh, other people in the family knew of it prior to me for years. I've always inquired about him. Hey, what my reset? How he doing? You know, because he lived out of the, out of the city and I moved out of state. So I used to always call, try to ask around, see how he doing. Everybody, hey, he ain't seen Maurice, this, this. But they knew the whole time where Maurice was, what was his situation, everything. But I happened to see him on Facebook one day with another fellow fighter who found him on the street and was, you know, highlighting his situation. And uh, I was like, man, I got to find Maurice, man. And I reached out to him. He said where he was, what the area he be in. And uh, I traveled out there and, and every now and then I'll find him and, you know, I'll take him along with me. And but in his mind, because of his long term memory is good, he have memories that stick with him long term that affiliates him where he last was and his peace, where he last had peace and happiness in a town, in the hometown of where he gained that stability from boxing his home was there so he stays within that area and um and for seven years going on eight he's been in this situation and maurice need help you know what i mean he really does need help man and um and i i i really ask that the prayer warriors prayer warriors pray for him but i reached out to a few people in the boxing world sugar ray Leonard, antonio tarver uh uh, uh, Showtime boxing, you know, networks and the network in which he, he was under when he was champion, you know, a lot of, just a couple of other fighters, but his, his so-called best friend at the time, I reached out to him and, uh, and, you know, but when someone is conditioned to their reality and they, they believe that, you know, this is what God wants for me. This is, you know, and, and the thing is, I want to make this noted too. Maurice is not the type of individual that walks around as a homeless man and begs for money or holds a cup in his hand. He's far from that. He's a very humble person. You know what I'm saying? He, he believes he'll eat when God makes a way for him to eat, when it's time for him to eat. He'll be warm when God provides a way for him to be warm. He don't think like, you know, you and I. His leg is swollen the right leg is is puffed up bad you know uh due to uh, uh, uh blood clots and you know like i said I, i've tried to get maurice you know and uh bring him into shelter and try to uh you know let him wash up and stuff like that but he quick to say he want to go back because he got some unfinished business to attend to and uh, he believed this is a journey that god has him on because remember i told you he had a house and a home but because of his mental state of mind, you know, his wife, of course, feeling though she making the best decision, you know, um, selling a home and, you know, and departing from that toxic situation that she felt was toxic at the time with Maurice not necessarily being in his right state of mind and um, him feeling as though he, he was forced out of his home, you know, because he bought the home with his boxing careers, uh, revenue, a lot of things that can stir one uh, bitter, but he, he doesn't appear to be bitter, to be honest with you. You know, he truly believes from a message that he heard from Creflo Dollar that his, his mind was, it was something that God had ordained for him, you know? And, um, man, I, I, you know, I would just say, you know, like, first of all, I, I would believe that, you know, he needs some medical attention, man. You know what I'm saying? Because his leg is swollen up, man, you know, and he walks around. I've been, I'm out here trying to, you know, as, as any other day that I had free time, I would come out, out my, you know, not out my way, but go out wherever it is that uh, I have to go to go look for him. And it, it ain't never on camera, you know, and trying to exploit him or show things and all like that. Um, but, you know, because I looked up to him when I was coming up, when I want, when I was fighting, my inspiration was him to become a fighter like he was, to be successful, to be, be a, a world champion, you know, and so on. And um, 
but that, I'll tell you guys stories about, you know, me and him and how I used to go over his house and stuff like that and him being an inspiration to me and his father, my Uncle Sloan, you know. Um, but Maurice needs, you know, he needs people out there that knew that knew him and people that didn't know him, people who can be a blessing to Maurice, man. I would think that uh, he don't have any identification on him when he walking around, you know, he, he, he forgets sometimes his clothes, his book bag. And, you know, I've given him clothes. Other people have given him clothes, you know, try to help him with things, you know, food at the time, you know, just to stay warm and, you know, money if, if, if need be. Um, but Maurice need a, st a stable, uh, man, if, 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 if God could make way. And this is what I'm saying. This man is a, remarkable remarkable human being man like he he don't like i said he, he, he even when he was world champion he lived a low profile life you know it's a lot of things that i could say but i don't want to come across as biased or distasteful towards his ex-wife or you know uh anyone else you know what i'm saying but i just wanted to give you guys you know especially those who are in the boxing world that knew that knew and know maurice that followed his career and also, before I let go of anything, he's a man of God, man. He loves the Lord. You know what I mean? And I truly believe it, it, it sounds like a curse was put on him or something, man, in his mind. But physically, it will look like the result of boxing. But we all know that's a spiritual warfare. That's spiritual warfare, man. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? The Bible says we fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and dark forces in heavenly places. Man, I love this man, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. And it don't, it don't matter how long, you know, like I said, I, I'll never make an excuse. This Thanksgiving. And I, I ain't going to say how often I come out here or how long I, I, I come out to, to look for him. But I tell you, you know, when you do something, it don't got to be on camera all the time. And if you do, let, let the reason be genuine. But it, it ain't got to be for show or for clout or, or, you know what I'm saying, or anything. But... I just wanted to hopefully give a tad bit of his story and there's someone out there that can possibly offer some help. You know what I mean? To do so. And um, I will, in my perfect world or in the world of uh, like just compa having compassion and I would love to see Maurice in the uh, rehabilitation place. But where, but see with him, it's all about a two trust. You know, he don't remember a lot of people, especially people with this short term and, and people you just meet and stuff like that. Like he remember me from years ago. You know what I mean? From growing up and everything like that. If you just pop up on him and you know him from boxing and you come back next week, he won't remember you. You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm part of his long term memory and I'm so grateful for that. But I, I wanted to just say, you know, I would love to see Maurice in a man a, 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 a apartment paid for for a year or a condominium or something something or but see because when he he don't trust them people in the places because i'm guessing he had an experience when he first was put out the house and and, and they you know they said that something was going on with his head something with the hospital but i, I would love to just see this man in a, in a better state man if if i had the means to do so I would even get a room for him, man. Like, if for starters, I would get a hotel room or something where within the area in which he, he, he his mind is conditioned to dwelling and pay for it for a couple of months, man, and um, and go and check on him as often. I see a lot of people doing things for homeless people and stuff like that, and they, they show it on the camera and stuff like that. And I don't mind, you know, getting with Maurice when I find him and if someone wanted to, if people cared to, see him and wanted to hear from him and stuff like that i'll be you know i'll be more than uh of course talking to him about it first i'll be more than happy to to do that but i just wanted to share that with you guys man and um keep him lifted in prayer man you know as we all need prayer you know and uh but i thank you guys for listening man and uh if you guys know who maurice is man drop your comments below man from whatever it is you know you have, you want to share and um but I love you guys, man, and uh, you, my, my, my um, YouTube family. You guys be blessed. And uh, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to share this video. Share this video, guys. It's important. And uh, I hope you guys have a blessed day in the best way. God bless.